So in the last uh, section, we have looked at how we can integrate page objects uh, in our Cucumber uh, specification, I mean, step definition. So now uh, what we're going to do, we're going to add uh, like a couple more test cases we have created in page objects. Now we're going to convert again all of them into our features and uh, then into the spec definition. And let's see how we're going to do it. That should be very straightforward. And then we're going to use a couple more uh, features of uh, Cucumber like data tables, like Cucumber tags, right? So uh, what I'm going to do, uh, I'll rename this bank manager login uh, feature uh, to something uh, I'll, I'll name it as uh, banking dot feature right because we're gonna add a couple more features see you can design it in any way you can have multiple feature files as well or uh, you can actually uh, keep uh, different features or you can treat them as different scenarios like one of the scenarios login as bank manager then the next scenario will be uh, adding a customer. The next scenario will be opening the account. You can do it in that way as well, right? And this will be one uh, main feature. So what I'm gonna do, I'll just rename. Uh, if you are renaming the feature file, you need to rename the folder because the folder name should be the same as of the feature file name. So I'm gonna name it as uh, banking, right? And uh, Rename this to banking feature dot spec dot chess. And then I'll go inside the feature file. I'll name it as uh, banking feature. First scenario is login as. Uh, I want to validate banking features. Banking scenarios. Now the first scenario is login as bank manager. So I can add a couple more scenarios over here. So I'll say this. The next scenario is to add a customer, right? And then it should be a opening account. Right, so format it, format the document. So now we have three scenarios over here. If I just uh, save it and run it as it is, let's see uh, what happens. So let's uh, open it through the UI part and let's see how the feature actually looks like with multiple scenarios. So let it open. It's actually taking a little while. All right. So now if I click on banking feature, we're going to see login as bank manager. All the right now, all three scenarios are doing the same stuff. So all three scenarios pass. But there, there could be something common in all these scenarios as well. So for any common stuff, you can define uh, something called as uh, background. So background, uh, you can add it uh, something like, see this is background. I can give any background name over here or you can leave it as it is and maybe this one I want to keep it in background and remove from all my scenarios. Right, again format it and then save this and then you're going to see that for all these scenarios uh, the background given I navigate to the website should be executed like the same way, right? 
So this is one of the change that we did. Now uh, we're gonna add uh, the actual test over here. I'm just gonna stop this. And after logging as bank manager, I need to uh, add the customer. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna write when I, uh, these two things should remain same. And then I'm gonna add, uh, and I click on add customer button. So first we need to click on add customer button. And then we need to fill uh, the customer first name, last name, postcode. So I'll say, and I entered, and I'm gonna enter these information with the help of a uh, data table. So data table will be created like this. I'm gonna give first name, then last name, and then postcode. And enter these values. So the first name, the last name, and some postcode like this. So after this, I'll say and I and I click on submit button so after entering the details i need to click on submit button and i validate the alert text submit button. right so this is another scenario that i've created so i'll keep the third one for you so it should be the same as we are doing it over here just give it a try it on your own and see if it works so for this one, uh, I'll go to this banking feature and uh, these steps are already defined. So we need not to redefine it, right? We just need to define these four steps now. So these four, I'll just gonna copy this and paste it four times. See how easy it is to work in Cucumber. And remove this remove this so I'll, I'll just copy these stuff. two three four yeah first I'm gonna write and I click on add customer button I entered so I'm gonna show you how we're gonna define the data table so data table will be defined something like this data table right and then uh, what we need to do is uh, to define data table we need to write something like data table dot hashes dot for each remove this array part so it should automatically going to generate this code for you, right? So this element we need to get, uh, and how you're going to get it, I'm going to show it to you uh, soon. But before that, let's add one more step, two more steps. I click on submit button. And then I validate the alert text. I'm add it over here. Right, so now these things uh, should come from uh, a different class after home page action. Let's see where is the other class inside page objects. We have uh, add customer page action. So again, I'm going to copy this, paste it. This should be add customer page actions. Create an object of add customer equal to new add customer page actions right couple of changes i'm gonna do it in add customer page actions uh, see what we did is if you look at the feature again so there's a feature of clicking on add customer button and then entering details and then submitting uh, click on the submit button so if you look at over here i've wrapped all these things into one single function Right, so instead of this, what I'll do, I'll just cut it from here 
right for page objects i can keep it as it is i mean the initial uh, data driven test that we uh, did with page objects i'll just uh, comment it out i'm not removing it but for cucumber i'm creating three two more functions so one is uh, click add customer button so this is one function and this should hold this particular value this particular action and then uh, summit customer details and this should hold this particular action right so once we are done with this once we are done with this we can go to our banking feature and then I click on add customer button. I'm going to say the name that we have given is add customer dot add customer. What name we have given? Click add customer button. Right. So they should click on add customer button. And here we'll say dot. Uh, this is what name we have given add customer details so you can see first name last name ports code is showing up over here so this should actually going to come from the feature file so how you will going to get it i'll say element dot first name element dot last name element dot post code so these are the fields that we have actually given in the feature file first name last name and the post code the same field uh, should be used with this element right so this is how we'll be using the data table and now in order to click i'll say add customer dot uh, submit customer details and that's it and then after this uh, for validating alert so we'll be calling this uh what was that it was Sorry, not from here, it's inside actions. So validate alert, right? So we're gonna say add customer dot validate alert. And the alert message we're gonna give it over here. That is customer added successfully like this. Right, so from this action, we call this validate alert method. So this is what we actually need to write and this is how you'll be doing the open account page action as well. So just create two more steps for open account and validate alert. Validate alert, uh, yeah, you need to create one for validate alert as well. So just give it a try and let's try running this much to make sure whatever that we have written is working fine so let's open the banking feature and see the details are being entered and all our tests are successfully executed all our scenarios are successfully executed right so this is how uh, we have actually integrated more tests and we have used uh that data tables we have defined multiple scenarios right in the single feature file right so next in the next session we're gonna look at uh, how we're gonna use tags to run selective scenarios all right thank you